Hello, everybody. This is Kate Srashny from Dedicated. I'm at Gartner's Data and Analytics Summit in Orlando. I stopped by the booth at Altair Hello. to talk to Dylan Tansel. Dylan, yeah. we're at Gartner, finally. Yes, it's good to be here. I know. Look at how busy everything is. I'm loving the energy. I'm loving the vibe here. Absolutely, yeah. And, you know, one of the first questions I wanted to start with here is, what do you do at Altair? So my role at Altair is to run the go-to-market strategy for banking, financial services, and insurance. So my background's in financial services, and I run a global team of salespeople, sales engineers, subject matter experts who focus on our top clients within that industry. Okay, awesome. I'm, I'm assuming this is one of the busiest industries for Altair, right? Absolutely. Altair, as a broader company, focuses on high-performance computing, simulation, and data analytics. But within the data analytics arm, BFSI, as I call it, is yeah. our biggest customer segment. Okay, good to know. And I've been hearing about Altair SLC. Can you tell the audience a little bit about what is what does SLC stand for and what, what problems does this solve? Yeah, absolutely. So SLC stands for SAS Language Compiler. And it's much more than that, but the you know, way that we enter organizations is typically around the language of SAS. So Altair SLC is one of the components of the Altair Rapid Miner platform. Altair Rapid Miner is a collection of tools that allows us to build what we refer to as an AI fabric. Okay. The underpinning of our AI fabric is a knowledge graph database or a data lake house that allows us to integrate data from all different sources. And then we have a composable set of tooling for different needs that people will have across doing reporting, ETL, and data science. SLC is one of those tools that allows us to run the language of SAS without any licensing from another vendor. So we're one of two vendors in the marketplace that supports the language of SAS. Okay. And so how does this actually work? If somebody wanted to go ahead and try Altair SLC, where, where do they go? How do they start? Yeah. So SLC has a couple components. There is SLC itself, which is the engine that allows you to compile and run the language of SAS. And then there's a workbench that actual end users would use. And that, to your question of how would they try it, that's where they would try it. Now, the workbench is something that they can run on you know, a laptop or a virtual workstation, and it allows them to code in the language of SAS, Python, R, SQL. So it's not just SAS language. It's you know, very flexible for programmers. But also, it allows them to do visual drag-and-drop workflow building for people who don't want to code. That's so, me. That's yeah, me right there. That's one workbench that anybody who wants to participate in building these kind of data pipelines could participate in. Okay, so would you say we need any special skill sets or can we just leverage what we already know? No, you know, part of the reason that we built the visual workflow aspect in addition to the IDE for coding is we want anybody with domain expertise on a particular project to be able to participate. So as long as you understand the subject matter right. and understand the goal of the project, you would be able to use Altair SLC's workbench. Okay, and can you walk us through maybe a customer use case or an example of how Altair SLC is used? Yeah, absolutely. So a lot of it is in modernization projects. The biggest projects that we're involved in, in the banking industry and other industries, is when people want to modernize. And that could be going to the cloud. It could be staying on-prem, but moving to open source languages like Python. And where we come in is that we can support both the future and the past. Mm -hmm. So a lot of organizations want to migrate, it, it, at least, the, uh, when they start these modernization projects, they want to migrate off of SaaS because of the cost. Okay. You know, there's another vendor that's been in the marketplace a long time that has a very high cost, and there's been commercial fallout in a lot of organizations with the other vendor. But the language of SaaS itself, which is an open source language, is good at a great many things. So what we try to do is help them with that commercial aspect. Typically, customers see a 50% savings or more on their license costs with Altair. Oh, that's good. Absolutely. And what the organizations find after that is, well, they do still want to go to Python or other open source languages because that's what kids are learning coming out of college today and things like that. Right. There's a lot of uh, what they thought was technical debt in the language of SaaS that is actually valuable programming that can continue to deliver on things like risk models that you don't really want to change if you don't have to. Right. Especially in highly regulated industries like the one I play in. 
Yes, I know. I, I come from a banking and financial services myself from a nice. consulting perspective. So okay. I remember all the regulations all too well. Yeah. I mean, risk modelers don't want to change their models if yeah. they've been stamped and approved by the executives, by the regulators. The last thing they want to do is rewrite everything into Python or some other language and then go through that approval process again right. and hope that they get the same exact output. We Which they people, won't, right? They yeah, probably I, won't. I, I know. It's a, a big undertaking. And I always tell people it's a big undertaking to just get the same exact result that you already had. You know, you want to do things in open source. We understand that. You want to do new things yeah. that add value to the bank or to any organization. You don't want to redo the things you've already done just because you want to modernize to newer open source languages. Exactly. So a lot of what we find is once we help people migrate to the new infrastructure they want, whether it's just more modern on-premise infrastructure or cloud or hybrid, and also once we help them reduce license costs around the language of SaaS, they'll see the language of SaaS is great at, at a ton of different things. And where they can pour investment from the savings we provide into open source is to do new value-added things for the mm -hmm. bank not redo the things you've already done. Yes, we, do, we don't want to redo what we already did yeah. and got approved, so Absolutely. that makes sense. Well, Dylan, um, last question is, if you could tell the audience, where can they go to learn more about Altair, SLC, and anything else about Altair? Yeah, absolutely. If you'd like to learn more about Altair SLC, visit altair.com slash altair dash SLC, or feel free to reach out to me, Dylan Tansel, with two L's on LinkedIn. Great. And yes, speaking of LinkedIn, make sure you follow Altair and all social media platforms. Dylan, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.